Hello everyone, Storm King here, back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to rip the subtitles out of an anime episode. Now, for this, you need three things. First, MKB 24 Second, Format Factory. And third, an anime episode, which is an MKB format. Now, for MKB to MP4 and Format Factory, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys to download them. Now, the MKB episode, you can download it somewhere from here. I'm going to also leave a link in the description. Or wherever you download your anime episode, that is, if they provide the MKB files. Now, after you downloaded the MKB file you want to transfer, you're going to have to go to MKB to MP4 and click on that little blue icon. After you do that, you're going to go up here where it says add and search for the anime episode you want to down you want to convert. Now I'm going to convert uh, Shingeki no Kyojin episode. Oh wait, wrong folder. Let's say 23. Now when this pops out, you're going to uncheck the subtitles and the tags. Now the tags box is optional since it won't affect how the end project will come out. Now after you do that, you're going to go to start and just wait for this to rip out the the subtitles. Now this won't take very long, but for tutorial purposes, to keep this short, I'm going to stop it right here and go where the episode has already been ripped out. See? It's 23 here. Now, you're wondering why you wouldn't put this into Sony Vegas since you've already ripped out the subtitles, right? Well, for some of you, this may happen. You may get a green screen once you ripped out the subtitles and put it into Sony Vegas. Now, that's where Format Factory kicks in. You go to Format Factory over here and choose the format you wish to edit your anime episode in once it's finished. Now, you're going to go to that same anime episode that you have and you're going to click on properties. Go to details and you're going to come over here where it says the video information. Here's the length, here's the frame width, here's the frame height, Here's the data rate, here's the total bit rate, and here's the frame rate. Now, after you do that, you're going to go to the format you wish to to have your app anime episode in, and you're gonna click it. I'm gonna click MP4 format since I usually edit in that format. Now, if you have a really bad computer, I suggest in video encode you go to ABC H264 and click that. But if you have a normal computer that you don't have that many problems in editing with, I suggest you go to either DivX or Xvid. Now, let's, for, for normal purposes, just go to DivX. In video size, you're going to put 1280 to 720 since it's right here in the video information. Now for the bitrate, now this is a tricky one. Because for the bitrate, if you have a good computer or something like that, then the maximum I would suggest you put it at is at 24. And if you have a sort of bad computer, you go over here to 12. Now, let's go to 24 for frames per second in the video information it says 23 frames so let's go where it says 23 frames let's just or 
you, I, I just did that because it's something I do, but you can also live it at 23,976 and it won't make a difference, I, I guarantee it. You go to aspect ratio, you go to 16,9th, 16,9, or fully expand. I usually just go here if you're going, if you're editing widescreen videos. Go to leave that where it is. And audio, for high quality audio, you're going to go to 320 and 480. Leave, leave that as it is. Go over here to add file. You're going to search for the file you want. There we go. Now, for this one, I suggest you leave it while you're doing something else. Or if you're going to try to change a lot of anime episodes, do it when you're about to go to sleep because this does take quite some time. I say it takes half an hour for it to finish. But after you do finish it, let's go into Sony Vegas. Let's get rid of this. Let's search for the anime episode, which I already converted. Oh wait, it's not here. Now, it's going to end up in here, in your local disk. Format factory output. Oh wait. Usually, yeah, it would end up here, but I transferred it over to here in my... in this folder. Go over here and voila, no subs. Let's just go somewhere where they talk. See, I'm skimming over here and no subtitles. None whatsoever. Oh. See, no subtitles. Now, be advised that if you do render in, let's go back here again, if you render your your videos in AVC H264 or 264, that this problem may sometimes occur. Let's go. The problem is that the videos or the anime episodes sometimes at the start the first 10 seconds maybe just let me get rid of this maybe just glitchy maybe the first, but it's only the first 10 seconds the first, the rest of the episodes is it's perfect you won't you won't get a glitch and if you do get a glitch just render it out and put it back in and it'll look as normal as when you you see the normal episode. Okay, that wrapped things up. If you found the tutorial helpful, leave me a like or a comment saying that that you found it helpful. And if you have a problem, just leave it in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and see you later.